hot one out there for the parade tonight, and the air quality is not at its best either. We've got air quality alerts in effect until midnight. They go in tomorrow. We've got more heat alerts, impact days, and but the tropics, we're going to start with Ernesto first from our Doppler radar here, and I'll get back to storms still lingering tonight and this evening where Ernesto has just formed today at about our 4 o'clock hour, 3.30, officially in the National Hurricane Center, upgraded that tropical storm status, moving really quick, west-northwest, 28 miles per hour. Winds just the tropical storm strength. The barometric pressure not that low just yet. It's estimated to be 1,009 millibars. So late overnight Tuesday to Wednesday, this could be affecting Puerto Rico, but as a tropical storm. Our U.S. territory clipping the eastern part of the island, but by overnight Wednesday, Thursday, could be the hurricane Category 1 status, and then a Category 2 potentially is it makes its way to Bermuda, but that's not going to be until we get into the weekend. But those are some fierce winds for that island. Have to keep a sharp eye, especially if you've got travel plans. You may want to watch that one closely, too. The thing is, besides that storm, we haven't seen any more indications of development over the next seven days in a wider view. And the other good news part of this forecast is we aren't tracking anything in the Gulf either. So just Ernesto, but that has no impact on the continental U.S. or even here into Louisiana. As we get into our temperatures, the storms that are out right now, we're going to start with the storm activity, I believe, is what we're going to get to in just a second. And we'll see where we've got those lingering showers and storms, mainly to the south shore right here this evening. Outside of Thibodeau, the home of the strongest storms, Boudreaux, Maybe Cocodri getting the heaviest downpour at this time. Head to the River Parishes north of Lutcher. You head to Napoleonville. Got some downpours that were outside of St. Benedict, outside of Ponchatoula. That's fading as it moves southwest. Right near Stennis, in between the Kill and Stennis, we've got that old storm activity that seems to be there with our convergence of the lake breezes that we get from time to time. Now we'll find out with the temperatures topping out at 96 lakefront, 97 officially here in New Orleans. Hammond, Slidell, Bogalusa, Gulfport, you did 98 today. Grand Isle, 98. Rain cooled air to the south shore, but it still feels like 105 with the heat index and the air quality in alert out for midnight tonight. That's unhealthy for those most sensitive. If you've got breathing concerns, it's high ozone levels. It's great for us in the stratosphere blocking out that ultraviolet light. It's terrible for us to breathe in here at the ground. So there's the heat alerts that extend all the way from the Gulf Coast to the Southern Plains. The core of that heat is just to the west of us. Low temperatures, well, you really can't call them all that low. We are in the depths of the summer, of course, in the doldrums. 78 belt chase, 79 here. But there could be some local relief, about a 30% chance of some widely scattered, maybe isolated storms and the combination of lake ocean breezes and just the heat of the day and humidity. 98 Bogalusa tomorrow, 97 here in New Orleans, but factor in humidity. Could feel as hot as 112. Heat advisory. Well, they're back again, and this could be going on for another lengthy period, and that's why we've got impact days for the heat and another air quality alert that ticks in tomorrow as well. So if you've got concerns, breathing concerns, you stay in for both air quality and heat. Wednesday's forecast, more of the same. Widely scattered storms, isolated storms in nature, about a 30-40% chance. The heat, look at Bogalusa in our state's capital, possibly to 100 actual air temps, feeling 112, 113. And we extend the forecast, maybe Thursday evening we could get some relief and maybe coming into Saturday evening, see a complex of storms moving north to south. Could be our next widespread storm chances that we haven't had in a while. We really haven't had rain in a while. Impact for the heat the next few, the air quality that boot with it tomorrow. But it looks to be this heat wave is going to be a long one too.